so today what we are going to do is we are going to make the jewelry uh, since my a uh, lot of things are happening at my place so i can find my jewelry which i have already made in the next class i will definitely show it to you so you can make something like this also with the clay so you just have to understand what kind of clay uh, we are going to use and how we are we are supposed to use it so you can make the clay lovely lovely Good evening, Hadina, ma'am. I'll just get Hello, one more. Hello, Lakshmi. Hello. I know you were very enthusiastic in our last, you know, decoupage class. Your enthusiasm really fires everyone else too. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, this kind of things. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. It is a nice thing to learn. As time slips by, we find we we have new things to learn, and that's wonderful. Just like you, I made the clay painting. I gifted to somebody. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> this is for my granddaughter. Again, one to my niece. Oh, <laughs> good, good. Uh, what we need to do is sometimes you know what happens, ma'am. We buy these kind of things at home, and we think that sometimes we, whenever we are going to get time, we'll make it. So you know, like the same thing happened with me also. I bought this thing almost few months back. Now it is getting dry. So this package, you will get these two kind of things in the package. Ma'am, this is the same variety molded. Uh, so it is a kind of white M seal. Okay, okay. Expensive. It is just costing you twenty to twenty-five rupees maximum. Okay. So, this way you can make so many things. Ah, uh, this way, you can very easily you can create a different look to your bottle. Or I'll just tell you one more thing. I had this blue uh, pottery thing with me. So, can you see the dark color over here? Yeah. So it was broken. It got broke from here. Uh -huh. So with the help of this M seal, I repaired the entire vase. Oh, oh good. Very pretty. pretty. Wonderful. Wonderful. So I will just apply that the uh, sap green color on it. <laughs> you just cannot make out because I will teach you how to repair your old stuff. Also, you can just easily repair your nice vases which are lying waste like this. Because these blue pottery things are very expensive in the market. Correct. So sometimes you don't want to waste. So why should we waste our hard-earned money like this? So we can yes. just by putting few things over here, and huh. you can repair your entire vase. Perfect. See how come it is shiny? It's shiny. No, because of no. the color, ma'am. Because the color, that acrylic color, as it Very is, has got shine. No, it is shiny. Acrylic shine. Acrylic color. I will put varnish. I will put the varnish. You can put the varnish, but in this I have not put the varnish, ma'am. It is just a plain color. Very pretty. This is the portion which I have repaired. So what we are going to do is we can uh, make uh, wonderful uh, vases with this by giving a shape. Like if we take a katori like this, and if we put the uh, the thing thin uh, kind of roti kind of a thing inside the uh, katori. And we uh -huh. leave it like this. It will become a very nice bowl. Oh, so I will just tell you how to make these things. So you know, sometimes when you buy these kind of things from the market, and if you leave them for a very long period, sometimes you know what happens? This uh, softener becomes hard. Oh, become hard like this. Acha, acha. So what you have to do is. uh you have to just break it with the help of any kind of hard thing and you can just scrape it out like this see 
All right. And suppose to make it soft. If this, this is too hard, so what you can do is you can just apply little bit of water over here. Okay. And this will become like a brand new thing, which no other shopkeeper will tell you because they want to sell their products. They will never tell and you things like this. Yes, understand. So this will become a very nice thing because this is just a softener. Uh -huh, uh -huh, the softener uh -huh. thing has become hard. So once yes. you become... Because hardener never becomes uh, hard. This is the harder packet. Acha, acha. You can see this is, uh, the hair they have written hardener also. So they come together in one packet, the hardener yes, and the softener. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. So once we have done this, I'll just show you. I've already opened these two packets. Hmm. One is hardener and one is softener. Hmm. So... Always remember one thing, whenever we are playing with the clay, with this molded, which is also known as white MC. So we have to take both the things, hardener and softener in equal quantity. Achha, first, achha. first important thing. And second important thing is don't mix the entire thing together. Huh, so huh. take little. So the, in that packet, the two packets will be there inside softer and harder. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll just open one packet in front of you. That's why I left it like this. See, I'm opening this packet. Just a sec. See, there are two packets in this. Okay. One is hardener and one is softener. Okay. You have okay. to mix together? Yes, ma'am. Not the entire thing. Always remember one thing. Always cut very little. Say, this is a complete packet. I'll just show you. See, hard how to make mix my harder with the softer. I'll just show you, ma'am. This is the hardener. This is the hardener. This is the size of the things which are generally inside the packets. So what we have to do is we have to take the equal quantity of both the things together. Okay. Okay. So okay. I'll just give it a shape. Say I have taken this, this much portion. And same goes for this also. Left or can we keep it in the fridge? No, 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 no. You don't need to put keep anything in the fridge, ma'am. Okay. See, the, these are of equal quantity. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now, what we have to do is before mixing this together, we have to take this is a very important thing which we have to remember. We have to take some talcum powder in our hand. Okay, like this. Oh, so that it won't stick to my hand. Yes, and plus, when you use talcum powder, then you don't leave your handprints on the clay also. Okay. I'll just tell you how. Can you just repeat that process? I missed it. Sorry, someone no, came and ran the bell. So when we are going to mix this, these two things together, the hardener and the yes. softener, yes. we have to take a little bit of Talcum powder on yes. your hand. Okay. Rub your hand like this and uh. then take this clay. Okay. And then mix it. All right. All right. So you have to mix it. See, Abhi, it has not become white. So we have to keep mixing it together. Achha, achha. So it takes time, little time, because when you're mixing it, see, now this has become started becoming light now. You have to keep mixing it until and unless we don't get a ivory color. We can still see the dark lines. Yes. See, this has started changing the color now. Huh. But you can still see some brown lines in this. So you have to keep mixing it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the moment you mix them together properly, this will become very soft. Okay. See. The color, 
it has tick right that hard was the black color now no this is now off white color now the black and white mix when you mix those two things together the it becomes like this it becomes like this until okay. and unless if this color is not going to come you have to keep mixing it okay sometimes you know what happen people don't mix hardness of it properly so when they give it a shape they don't get dry so okay. you have to mix them very nicely roughly like this little tightly okay. No, no. In spite of mixing the black color, it looks white. Huh? Yes, ma'am. This is the beauty. Okay. Now we have we have to do is now we have to start and we have to leave everything on one side. We are not going to use this clay now. So what we are going to do is. See, soft one day. Sometimes if we keep it for long days, the soft one becomes hard. Then you have to mix with water and make it soft. Yes. Yes. You have to break the outer portion. The like small portion. This. Yeah. See, this is yeah. the outer portion. This becomes dry. Okay. Inside the packet only. So you have to okay. break it, and then you have to take the soft portion from inside this. With okay. The, the hard one won't get dry, ah. Huh? Pardon me. Hard one, na. Huh? Hard one. The black thing won't get uh, dried. No, no, that will not get dry. Only the softer becomes dry. Okay. So what we're going to do is, we for the tools, we can take any kind of tool. So I will teach you how to make a simple jewelry first, and then gradually we'll shift to the other one. So we need a plastic kind of a packet, or we can take any. Acha, for the color also, you have to remember one thing. we can take the metallic colors these are the metallic colors available in the market and this not fabricable metallic colors okay no this is, these are all fabric fab, uh, fabricable colors only ma'am but they are metallic colors so they look metallic very nice colors so okay got it silver golden copper bronze color colors. metallic colors ah yeah. <laughs> and, and if you want to use some other colors yeah. like different colors then you can use pearl metallic colors That also looks very nice But, on jewelry. No, no. Okay. Madam, this Madam. what what do you call this metallic paint? Ah, pearl metallic colors. Pardon? Pearl, P E A R L. I'll just show you. Ha, huh, we we can see it, ma'am. Thank you. We can see it, Shalini. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Metallic color. Yes. so pearl metallic colors are very good for jewelry making because then it gives a shine and the moment you apply this color i'll tell you later on that thing so for the tools what we are going to use is i'm going to use this knife then i'm also going to use any toothpick or lacquer like spoon So now we are going to start this. I'm going to do it on this so that you all can see. So we have to divide this portion into three parts so that we can make a earring and also the pendant. So we'll take two smaller balls and one big one. So we'll put a mark over here, mark over here, like this. See these are these are the equal size of uh, balls, and one yeah. bigger one is basically for the pendant. Pendant. Oh, okay. yeah. So what we are going to do is we'll just roll it up properly. If you think it is getting sticking to your hand, you can just take very little powder, not too much of powder. Just this okay. much is good enough. Okay. So after doing this. You just put it on the plastic packet so that you don't have to move it again and again, and you can give a shape to your this thing. Like I will give a rectangular shape. And the best thing is those who have got young girls at home, they can create their own jewelry instead of going to the market. They can create their own design according to dress, and they can give the color whatever they want.
See, I'll put it here. Like this, I'll put it on the plastic and then I will give the shape. And we can use the ultra side of knife to give it a clean edge. Like this, okay? We'll make another one. So after keeping the measurement in mind, we'll just put it on the other side because now we are going to give a design to it. Always remember one thing that it should be straight. It should not be like thick from one side and thin from other side. See, can you see some uh, fine lines on this? So for that, you can do one thing. You can just take some talcum powder like this on your tip, rub it like this. Okay. And apply it on this. So that you don't leave any fingerprint on it. See. The shine has come. It's more nicer. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is design. We will start giving the design to it. Oh, with a knife only you make, huh? Yeah. You don't have to buy any tool from the market. You can do everything at home you're, only. You're putting lights, right? Yes. Like this. Okay. One on this side and the other one on the other side. Mm. Okay. Now what we're going to do is with the help of toothpick, We'll make triangles over here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can see. Yeah. Over here also. Only one side you are making. Yeah. See, in this, I have done a mistake. Instead of making two things, I am. Clay, you can just reuse it again. Okay. And if you think if, and remember one thing, the most important thing is you just have 45 minutes. The moment you mix this clay together, you just get 45 minutes to play with this clay because then it becomes start hardening. So in 45 minutes, you have to do it fast. Whatever design you want to give, in 45, that's why I said not to mix the thing together in one go because you just have 45 minutes. Okay? Yeah. 
ವಿಶ್ವ ನಿರ್ಮಾಣವನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ like this okay okay can you see the hole yeah we can see okay this is basically when you want to put the hook so i will teach you that thing later in the next session because uh, this cannot finish in one session i will just teach you this thing and then in the next class you can be ready with your own stuff that hole is for what to put the hooks ma'am hook hook where do you get the hook ma'am that is uh, again available on uh, online also or you can ask any jeweler who make jewelry on the jewelry shop you can okay. ask him he will just give you four five hooks like this only without taking any money from you can we get it where we get the paint and everything no not there ma'am maybe you never know sometimes you know the kits are also available in the market so sometimes you get it in that or you can use your old earrings which are lying like this sometimes you know what happens you lose one earring so you can use that also what is that for pendant ah huh? this is for the pendant ma'am i'm just giving us this thing and then later on we can start giving a different design to it Same goes for this. We can create a line over here, and then we can give a design with the help of this, or we can give the uh, design with the help of this also. Thank you. See, with the help of knife also, with the help of toothpick also, and in the next class I will tell you how you can use different objects also gradually. So now this is also ready. We'll put one hole over here in the center also for the pendant. This is good enough. Can you see all the holes? the hole should not be very deep it should be almost this much say about 2 uh, to 3 mm it should be that much inside this not much okay now the, once this is done what we are going to do is either we can use um madam can you repeat yes ma'am yeah, i have done the design for the pendant Yeah, yeah, for the pendant, I was saying that the uh, when you're making a hole in this, always remember that you should not put the toothpick too much inside the uh, pendant. It should Pardon? be too much, too much, too much, the, too much inside the pendant. Because then, if you put too much of this thing hole inside the pendant or on the earring, then you won't be able to put the wire properly. so what we are going to do is now we will make the design with the help of toothpick back for this also make a hole there like this you can give a design like this okay you can give any kind of design whatever you want you have to put a oh yeah put the hole also there yes put only one or two in the pendant also ma'am yes two you have put two holes you can put two holes also if you want ma'am it depends what kind of design you want see i have given one hole 
because I'm going to put a ring inside okay. it. Okay. You can put two holes also so that you can put it in the chain. Okay. Or you can use that loop wala thing, uh, that thread thing which has a hook. So you can just put it from here and there also. I will just show you the design which I have made later on after finishing this. So when this is finished, you can be reassured like this has become little curved. So with the help of knife, we have to just straighten the, them up properly. So when it dries, it comes out. Huh? It comes out, it will come out now also, ma'am. So can you see this? There is a line over here. What yeah. I'm going to do is I will just take some talcum powder. I will just do it like this. It'll go. Sometimes, you know what happens when we are doing something? So we bang something on it. So instead of redoing the entire thing, we can just put a talc powder like this and then we can straighten up. See? It has become straight now. Okay. Okay. Now, once this is over, what you can do is you can give some designs over here. So any suggestion for this design? We can give a design with the help of this fork also. Like this. Like this. Like this. And then again, with the help of this, we can do it. You can make put it straight. It'll just come out like this. See, it'll just come out like this. So we can just leave it like this. Hello. Yes, we can see. Yeah, like that. I think there was some network issue at your place. Okay, now once this is done, I will teach you how to color this. Like uh, this, I have made it with the help of a corn flour clay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this is again a very nice one. The only difference is this shelkar clay is very hard. If you throw it also, it will not break. That is a difference. And if you throw this one, it is likely to break. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you, I will just show you the photographs. Just a sec. Can you see the picture? This jewelry picture? Can you all see the picture? Hello? I can see it. I can see it. Okay, ma'am. This? Yes. You make a reversible jewelry also. So in this, I have put two loops. Uh. And this top also, you can make it, you can make a changeable one also. It is like this. Then th this is the filigree design, which you can make. Just a copy of that. So once we paint it, then you don't, you can't make out that we, we have made something like this with the help of clay. This, this Ganesha is also made of this uh, clay only. Okay, so uh, I'll just continue with the class. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to teach you how to color this. In the meantime, this thing will get dry. Once this thing, this thing gets dry, with the help of wire, we'll put the rings over here, 
with the help of Febiquick. And then we have to give a black color to all the items first. We have to put it properly. I'll just tell you how to do it. So I've already prepared this one for you. So this is the black color which we have. We'll just take a very little black color, apply it properly inside and outside properly. You have to take a very little color and just spread it. Don't take too much. Because if you take too much of color, you know what happens, then the detail work which you had made, which you've done, it'll get hide under the color. So you have to just take very little color and keep spreading, keep spreading. Inside and outside, all over the place, we have to just spread this color. Once this is done from outside, from the front side, you have to do it at the back side also. So that whenever you're going to make, you whenever you're going to wear your jewelry, it should not be visible. It should look nice and classy. We have to go inside the curves also so that we should not leave any portion which is white in color. Because we are going to make this jewelry in golden color. So we have to give a black base all the time because whenever you put any other color on black, it gives a very nice look. If you give a white color at the back, Mane, I mean in the base color, then the moment you give any color on that, because you have to give a second coat of the desired color. So base will be always black. Same goes for the terracotta jewelry also. You put a black color first. So when you're going to color it up, it going to, it's going to look very nice. So once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'll just leave it like this on the bottle. Like this, I'll close the color. wash my hand so that I should not put this black color on any other thing. Always make sure whenever you use black color, you have to wash your hand properly so that when you're going to put the second coat, it should not look bad. Now what I'm going to do is I will take this golden color. And just let it dry for some time. You can use sponge also. You can uh, use anything with this. You can use any old brush. So that you can give a dabbing method on it. So I'll take a very less color in this because I just have to put this color on the edge like this. It is still wet. See, can you see the black color on it? 
So we have to wait for some more time. I'll just give you the rough idea how we are supposed to use this color. As we have done uh, earlier also the dabbing technique. So again, here also we are going to do the dabbing technique only. Shalini, the jewelry piece which we just made, how long should you leave it to dry? Uh, Ma'am, it will generally take two to three hours or maximum five hours. Oh, acha. It will dry right. very fast, ma'am. Okay, okay. Thank you. Most welcome, ma'am. Can you see this? Dabbing techniques. Eh? Yeah. The black yeah. color is giving yeah. a detailed look. The black color is giving a detailed look. Since it is dry, the black color is still dry. That's why the gold color has not come out properly. See. Uh, the black color is still wet, but you this black, uh, this golden color will come like this. So you can do it with the help okay, of okay. also. So what we generally use is we can do uh, if you want to give a vintage look. So what you can do is after giving a black color, the base color. You can just remove it with the help of a normal cloth. And when you're going to like uh, here, uh, it is already done. I think it is dry. So I can do it here. You don't have to color it up properly. Just dab it and let the black color little visible. And that golden color will keep shining. Oh. Like this. If you want to give a vintage look, so once you uh, put a black color, you can remove that black color, little bit black color with the help of old cloth. Let it dry for some time. And then you can give a second look of this golden color or silver color. It will give a vintage look. And then you can add a little bit of blue or green color so that it will give more vintage look to your jewelry. And then you can put this thing on any kind of gift box or uh, you can uh, put it on anything like that so that you can give a nice look to your gift items or you can put it on your envelope also. It is not necessary that you can only put it on the bottle or you can only make a jewelry. You can put it like this on any envelope like this. You can put some leaves over here with the help of this clay only. Either you, if you don't have this uh, molded clay, you can do it with the cornflour clay. So this one is out of cornflour clay. This is very thin and very light in weight, but then it is very fragile also, this one. But this one is very sturdy. If you throw it also, it will not break that easily. And don't forget to put the holes over here. So in the next class, yeah. what you all can do is, you can make your own jewelry, 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 you can make your own you can put two holes. And you can put it in the black color. So I will tell you how to do it in the same color. It's a simple color, so it's easy to do it. When you have to do with the multiple colors, then you have to be a little more careful with it. So, if you have to do with double color or three color, you have to be a little more careful with it. To do it with single color, it's very easy to do it. Like this is dry, the moment it gets dry, it will look much better and neater also. See, now it has started visible now. Yes. So you can put it on your bottle also. If you want to put it on the bottle, I'll just show you. But make it out of the clay. Yes, ma'am. You can use any contract ah. clay also, ma'am. You can put it like this on any bottle like this. Ah. Okay. No, if you don't want to use contract, you can use the clay material and make it. 
Yes, ma'am. That, uh, that's why, ma'am, this play uh, takes longer time. It takes uh, more than uh, six to eight hours or maybe 12 oh. hours sometimes to get dry. If it is very thin, it dry fast. If it is little thick, it takes a lot of time. But in this, okay. if you layer also, it dries at uh, a particular time. It takes maximum four to five hours to get dry. Okay. So that is the beauty of this uh, molded. See, this is very thick. This is very thick. Yes. Yes. Completely. See, this is Correct. very thick. So this conflict mm. takes a lot of time. And if you dry it with the help of a uh, ha uh, hair dryer, you will get to see a lot of cracks in it. So you cannot use hair dryer also in this. Why? But in this uh, molded, it is very easy to make. But the only thing is you have limited time to make it to finish your clay the moment you mix your clay. So that's why we take only very little little quantity. We mix a little quantity in the hardness and softness. Those who have joined classes later, join kariye. I'll just repeat the thing once again. When we open this packet, mold it. Seven. We get two things. One is a hardener and a softener. Domo ka equal quantity leke, we have to take equal quantity of both the things, very little, little, very little, mix it with the help of powder. Chapter, I'll just show you once again those who joined it a little late. Make when you go to Marasaka Kitikati, mix Kesi Karna Hamko. Some exercise for the lower name. So, in the next time, coloring. Yes, coloring. Next time, coloring Hamlo. Okay. So, I will show you how to join the bath. Okay. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, जब तक ये एक कलर में नहीं हो जाता तब तक हमको मिक्स करना चंद्रमाला मैम यू वांट टू आस्क समथिंग आपको अनम्यूट करना पड़ेगा चंद्रमाला मैम एंटी क्लॉकवाइज चंद्रमाला मैम आपको अनम्यूट करना पड़ेगा आपके आपका तभी आवाज आएगा भी आपका आवाज नहीं आ रहा आ हेलो आया भी कैन यू ऑल प्लीज स्टैंड अप शालिनी मैड Painted, what is that one? Uh, this thing, the black one you painted, what is that one? It is acrylic color, ma'am. Black acrylic color. But normally, no, no. It is a, it's a flower or a pendant? Pendant? This you can make, uh, use it anywhere, ma'am. You can make a fridge magnet, you can put it on your envelope, you can put it on your uh, gift box. I will teach you how to make a gift box also in the next class with the jewelry. Just you are showing how to paint it, right? Yeah, yeah you have to be careful. I, I will teach you how to do it in the next class, ma'am, properly. So today we were just only supposed to make these kind of things like how to make uh, this jewelry with the help of clay. You can, uh, I will try to put some pictures of the clay or you can always download from the internet also. And you can make your desired design and don't forget to put the hole because later on you cannot put the hole in it. So whenever you're making a jewelry, you have to put a hole in it. If you want to put two holes in the pendant, you can put two holes in the pendant. You can put two holes in the pendant. Sindra Bala ma'am, you don't have any sound. Can you speak? Yes, it's coming. Hello? Andy Sindra Bala ma'am. Yes, tell me. I'm unmuted. Andy Sindra Bala ma'am, tell me. Yes, ma'am, I'm listening. Tell me, ma'am. Yes. क्या बोलूँ मैं? क्या बोले लगता है तुम? सुनिए मालूम है मैं आपको कुछ पूछना है? नहीं 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 पूछना है। Thank you very much. Okay ma'am. तो हमने ये जिन लोगों ने क्लास बाद में ज्वाइन किया देखिए अभी भी ये मिक्स नहीं हुआ क्ले हमारा। जब तक कि सिंगल कलर में नहीं जाता, जब तक it is not done, we have to keep mixing it properly. Came turn ने पीन। पीन ग्रीन की भी मिट्टी ग्रीन की पीन। तो मारे नॉट मिक्स। नहीं नहीं आई बिल्कुल आई बिल्कुल। ओके वीक वधारे थे नहीं वो नंतु। 
जब तक ये एक कलर में नहीं होगा हमने इसको मिक्स करते रहना अभी भी थोड़ा सा रह गया इसमें विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस क्ले यू कैन मेक ब्यूटिफुल बॉटल लाइक दिस दो नॉट सीन इट This is just one white color and yellow color, and with the help of candle, I have given this vintage look to this black color. This black is with the help of candle. Start. First exercise. This is ready now. Any question? Anybody wants to ask any question? One, straighten your leg. For the tools, you can use anything. You can use knife, to pick, old rifle. Ah, uh, sometimes you get a ah uh, file where you get to see lot of holes in it. Ah, uh, that string file. You can cut that portion. You can use that as a tool. So you can use this cap also for it as a tool. You can just. I'll just show you how to do it. give a look like this and then with the help of this nozzle you can give a look like this four five anybody wants to ask any question three four five down up one two three four five down Anyone wants to ask any question? Uh, no, I'm fine. Thank you, Shalini. Okay, most welcome, ma'am. Uh, hopefully, in the next class, uh, uh, we, we can uh, uh, learn how to color this portion and uh, also how to come, give a finished look to our jewelry. And uh, you, in the meantime, you can make any kind of design like this. Oh. And not to forget this hole, putting this hole. Oh. This hole, dalna, बहुत जरूरी है. ताकि हम उसको फिनिशिंग देंगे उसके बाद एंड साथ में इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू डेकोरेट योर ओल्ड बॉक्सेस इनटू अ गिफ्ट बॉक्स थैंक यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस प्ले ओनली मोस्ट वेलकम मैम अच्छा लेने हैव अ गुड वीक thank you sir uh, for this uh, interesting topic and uh, we hope to see you next time uh, for another great lecture thank you so much and uh, it was my pleasure okay everybody see you all bye, bye.